One day she came to me, and she very seldom took a meeting with me, you know, I mean, it was usually her mother. She said, I want to talk to Dad. So she said, I want to go to Dad. I'm, she started explaining to me, she said, I'm, I don't like school. And she was having a tough time in school. She wore boots. She had her, you know, I mean, she was like a punker, you know. And so, the nightmare of parenthood was upon me. And she said, uh, you know, <clears throat> I, I, I said, what is it, Ange? What's the problem? She was a sophomore in, in high school. And, uh, I, and she said, you know, I, I'm, they tell us to learn this stuff. It's from the book. Then we have to go home and read it. Then we have to come in, and then they have to explain it to some of the other kids. And then we wait, and then we have to do it. She was obviously impatient with school. She could, and she was getting bad marks. She said, I want to go into this special class uh, and uh, I can choose my own books, she said. And this class was for the kids who were failing out, you know, who were in terrible trouble. I said, you know, there's a lot of rough kids in that class. There were a lot of kids into drugs and stuff like that. She says, I've been through all that. <laughs> oh, God, what a, <clears throat> what a knife in my heart when I heard that, you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I said, okay, let's set it up so you can, let's get the principal. So I called the principal. We had the, uh, the principal was there, Angie was there, her mom was there, and I was there. And Angie shows up in a pink sweater that she borrowed from her mother, little white pleated dress, nice little loafers, you know. <laughs> and she gets up and she gives a speech like, you know, the, the final arguments as to why she deserves to be in the class. 